Good afternoon, my name is The Ferret. Just quickly um, playing into a game of Turbine here. Standard rules apply. Don't sound my voice. Please go to the main menu, go to the mute button, and select me from you. Anyway, straight into Turbine. No setup times, so. Okay. Looks at the moment. Starting game is mostly in Red's favour. They seem to have got out to the main area straight away. Losing a little bit of fight back. There was Trez moving out, but red team has gone straight in. Now, let's see what's going on. Well, look up. Now, function zero, I have to say, my personal nemesis in this server, just being everywhere at once and somehow being annoying at the same time. Doing a nice defensive work all by himself. and he, I think he needs help, though. Uh, he is getting some help. Okay, it looks like blue are getting on the defensive a little. Red are slightly moving in. This is one of those fast maps. I like, can't do like Turbine. I mean, it's quite nice for the sheer speed of play. But I kind of don't prefer it on some of the flank angles. It's got very limited flank angles. And actually, kind of a pig for, you know, Pyros to play. Yeah, I'll talk about it if you do something amazing, man. Or if I see it. In any case. Ooh, Pitomatic. Take that Pinder King there. Prince, they're even getting past. Yeah, I, I'm going to do YouTube later. No, any case. Pizzomatic's moving in. Guys tenaciously trying to move up, but this red blue team, using all the explosive classes, they're being a pig of themselves, actually. Blue are moving, red are moving in, but it's, it's looking herfy. Oh, I'm sorry, um, there is a way to you know keep me quiet, and that is go to the um, main menu, go to the mute, and from the mute menu you can actually you know set my name to turn me off, and that's the quick way to do that. Sorry, I'll, I'll give up me and YouTube stuff about you know uh, you know after the end of the you know, session. Now, in any case, red trying to battle in there, but it looks like you know they are um, all the blue team. Pretty much try to back themselves up into this one into the uh, intel room. Okay, red team so they on the offensive. Now a little bit of a problem here in that I think, you know, Troop, he's doing nice work as a medic, but he's using the vaccinator, which, you know, is really handy in a mobile game. But in a, in an in an eight, uh, area like this where actually you kind of really, really need a bit more vulnerability. It's not going to work. Oh, it's looking... Okay, the vaccinator might be working. He might be getting kills in. Skyados. Oh, he's just... Oh, can he do this? Oh, no. Shot at... Sniped out of existence. He did nice work in there. But where was the follow-up on that? He was doing so brilliantly there. But the rest of the team didn't move in. Okay, from the looks of it, I think Blue have come back on that. They're counter-attacking. Sir Cam Bet Bectus there. Sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Blue really the anger energy. Sorry, yes, sir. Would I question? I'm sorry, I'm trying to commentate, uh, but it's quite difficult to answer questions at the same time. Now, in any case, who's sentries? I think that's, uh, it's um, Sir Cam Bectus there. Ooh, but lucky Overkiller there. Overkiller, he's done that sentry up. Now, the problem is, that sentry is right in the middle of the open. Lots of easy attack angles to get to it, so it's not going to stay up for long. Okay, we're ready to go. Yes, I am recording, so this is going up to YouTube, yes. Now. Okay. Ready to find a battle in the again. Oh, uh, sorry, it's not on Twitch, it's just strictly YouTube, I'm afraid. Now, in any case, Blue are trying counter-attacking. Oh, and then um, John CM 1998 there just found the entire red team around the corner. Uh, th that is problematic when you're a one-man team. But it looks like the red are trying to battle in there. Skados is in there. He's grabbed the intel. Run, 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 run. Oh, no, no, no. Grenade to the face. Now, that could have been epic. Uh, that's pretty much 
you know, grab and run. That was no, no, no pyros in there either. Oh, I was looking. It's, oh, that's bad. It's a pyro. Exego swag there. Annoying that heavy immensely. I can't believe you got away with that. That Uma was nullified. Nice save work there by that guy. Blue are very much on the defensive. They're just pouring guys in already. And Red are just keep coming in and coming in. They both seem to really fuck this hard. And there's an Uber. It's fire everywhere. It's looking for him. But again, where is Red Team? Why aren't they pushing in? I mean, okay. Pitomatic's got the intel. It's looking good. Oh, he's been taken down, but he's got a friend. Okay, I think that's going back to Red Base. I don't think any stopping now. The thing is that sentry that is keeping a little bit of dominance outside is badly placed, so that you know it's it's Elvis Presser. Nice work. It's using the angles. And I think is that the score one? Yes, one score for red. Now are red maintaining that pressure on that room? I haven't checked back, back to check yet. Well they are and yep, nice. They are holding the um Intel room, if you can do that, you pretty much won this game. Oh, sorry, I'm afraid to commentate. I have to do this pretty much on commentary uh, on a spectator. Now, in any case, oh, Nets there. The guy's playing hard. Oh, no. Shot to the floor, did it. There's John C in 1998 coming back. Oh, he, whoever that pyro was, Pitomatic, came in around the corner. And just generally, oh, he ran into a world of hurt. Yeah. But, you know, Red your dad and throw me upstairs on Uber. They are going to spawn camp blue area. They can do this quickly enough. And the intel is back. This is looking like a whitewash game for Red here. Looking good. The intel's on the way back. All they have to do now is just protect the carrier. Skados are doing nice work. He's moved. He's a little bit slow, but I think he'll have this. No, nah, blue aren't. I just aren't following. Red have this, and it's pretty much over. Yeah, it's ours now. Nice work, nice work there from Red. Nicely done. Okay. I was supposed to an immediate move up. Oh, who is he? Co nearly clobbered. Um, Dion Blaster. Oh, finally did. Okay. Red aren't. It's looking equal in the middle of the moment. Both quite a good combined presence of red and blue there, but I think red's got the edge. And by the edge, I mean they're killing every other person blue. Now. Red's back on the offensive again. Now. This is the thing. I mean, last time I came in turbine, you put some if you, if you put some sentries away from the point, try and hold the corridors, you've got a much better chance than actually trying to hold the intel room itself. And straight away, you know, ex Daniel got the intel, and Red Team are now barricading the intel room. This is bad. There's an Uber. People are dying. Oshawa there using the shotgun because he ran out of shotgun shells. Just get, get towards those heavies. You're invulnerable, you know. You aren't going to miss a heavy without shotgun spread. You can kill them pretty quick and four shots. Okay, we're genuinely migrating back in. Where's that intel? Because they need that intel to be capped, and you know, they need to read the crit advantage. I have a feeling, though, I wasn't watching, but I think the intel is taking a bit of its time to get out. Now, blue are doing the right thing. Red are doing the right thing here. They're constantly fighting in this intel room. They know if they hold this area, they can just keep capping the intel with impunity. I mean, Skados is right there. He's just sitting on the intel point, just waiting for it. And then the salt. Your dad took it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, but in any case, though, Red are still just moving in there, moving in with this. Blue need to do something drastic. I don't know. Then you get out there. Okay, this is looking good. Red relented their assault there. Function zero. Moving in for the flank. Lovely work, just gets in up around that heavy, really taking all that area. Now, oh, looks like the intel was capped, there'll be crits, crits around here and everywhere. Function should have dodged all of that. 
Oh, there are three blue heavies. Um, yes, uh, Soviet Union is back. Uh, that very good defensive class. Great for this level, actually, because they, they will excel at, you know, medium to short range. Sorry, I had a little bit of tech on. I've got a bit of scratch going on my uh, speakers up. Now, okay, Blue managed to move out. Can they come on the offensive now? Well, according to Nets, that may not be the case. Just came across a sentry now. Red have not left their sentry un spawn unguarded. So they have got that going for them. Now, I think it's 2 to nil. Blue have to pretty much down the defensive. That early initiative by Red there pretty much has given them a lot of freedom maneuver. That's the thing, right? Blue can just lose his game from one cap. And it's... Oh, your dad forgot to pick up the intel. Uh, he moved around the intel but didn't actually pick it up. That was a bit embarrassing. Anyway, Pitomatic's got it now. It's a bit of a dirt pyro battle. Oh, Elvis Presser saves the day, but it's still looking a bit... Your dad come, goes to come back. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ariel was sticky. He's managed to get away. And, oh man, this blue team is trying to stop this intel inching away. Function Zero loses it. Oh no, this is, look, this is going grim. Red have got this. Ket's on the run. Demo jumps out of the way. But no, I think it's too far behind enemy nines now. This is pretty much a red win. And that's it, that's over.